They go on the road. First time since October the 19th. And the uh, Pistons, late last night, lose to the Golden State Warriors, uh, 127 to 107. They were down two at the half. And then uh, Golden State scored 42 in the third quarter. Uh, KCP lost, uh, was taken out of the game. He had a bad shoulder injury, MRI. Taken today, we'll find. I doubt he's going to play today against the Utah Jazz. Patrick Eves never played for the Philadelphia Flyers. I think so. I, uh, I'm obviously. My, I'm thinking of someone else though. Now I'm like really. Now it's going to be one of those things that drive me crazy. Ville Leno? that played for the Flyers. Yes, yeah. Ville Leno. That's who I'm thinking of. Thank you very much. All right. Speaking of <laughs> random Red Wing, the answer to the following question is not either Ville Leno or Patrick Eves. We're going to give you four clues. And you're going to tell us who the random Red Wing is that we're talking about, okay? Four clues. Once you know what they are, 248-539-9797. And guess what you win? You win a pair of tickets to see the Red Wings and the Penguins tomorrow night, Saturday night hockey at Joe Louis Arena. It's the final time that the Red Wings will play the Pittsburgh Penguins on a Saturday night at Joe Louis Arena this year. Ever. I don't know. Maybe it's not. I'm just making this up. <laughs> For tickets, visit DetroitRedWings.com. It's more than hockey. Clue number one, he played for five NHL teams. He played for five NHL teams. Five the look on Stoney's face when I said that Patrick Eves played for the Flyers was priceless because you were so confounded. You're like, wait a minute. There's no way that's true. I would know that if that were true. Well, not, well, not necessarily. Yeah, you you probably necessarily no, know no, that. No, not necessarily. Last and, night, yes. you mentioned the Warriors and the Pistons game. Uh, it was on TNT. As Look, the Warriors are on national TV virtually every time they play. Well, the Pistons are on again tonight. That's, they're America's team. Against the Jazz and ESPN. And, Jamie, you know, because of the Pistons' woes this season, and actually for the past decade, if you really want to be pretty honest about it, right? Uh, be pretty honest about it. Um, the NBA in this town is not exactly high on a lot of people's radar. And there are a lot of people out there, and I'm not one of them, or I, I should say I used to be, oh, back in the day the league was so much better and all this kind of stuff. I believe the Pistons have rotted the NBA love that takes place nationwide that does not exist in Detroit for a lot of people. Now, there are some people, obviously, are big NBA fans. You look at all the great players that are on the NBA, and not just, you know, LeBron and Curry, but you look what's going on with Westbrook, James Harden, even young players, Anthony Davis, the Greek freak from, what's his name? from Milwaukee, uh, Anagupu, I believe. <laughs> I always, Gian, Giannis is his first name. Giannis. Giannis, I mean, whatever. I call Aren't him the Greek cool? freak. It's, it's Janice? Easy. What? Janis? It's not Janis. No. It's not Janet Wood. It's Giannis. Giannis. But I, but I just call everybody calls him the, the Greek, Greek freak. freak. Well, yeah. whatever. But he's good. poor Zingus. There's a lot of great young players out there. The league in my Kyrie Irving. The league in my mind seems to be really healthy. You look what's going on in Philly. The team's not winning a lot of games, but people are getting excited about Joel Embiid and Ben Simmons is coming back shortly. There's a there's a Isaiah Thomas going crazy for the uh, Boston Celtics. A lot of just great basketball being mm -hmm. played that I think is being ignored by a lot of people in this town because, let's, frank, let's be honest again, the Pistons aren't very good. Well, I mean, like, I... I, Are I we miss, is Detroit missing the boat on the NBA? Yeah, but I think they always have kind of missed the boat on the NBA unless the Pistons were relevant, and I don't think that's unique to Detroit. I think most cities are pretty territorial. The only thing... No, but the, I think the, sometimes we get jaded by by our own business where we won't talk about the NBA. I'd love to talk about the be, NBA. Because we don't think people... Because people don't respond to the NBA unless there's something big with the Pistons. But you look at... And I don't have them in front of me. The, the ratings are pretty healthy, especially with young people in the end... With professional basketball. People are watching the NBA. 248-539-9797. Ticket text 97136. Are you an NBA guy and you feel like it's getting glossed over because the Pistons are so bad? Or like Stoney, can you admit the fact that you're not into the NBA simply because the Pistons aren't very good and so therefore you have no reason, no, not, not reason, but you have no desire to watch other teams or other I'm players? Watch I'm watching now because well, you, you see the highlights. You think, man, I'm going to watch TNT because I want to see the James Harden. Mm -hmm. Houston has a great record with Coach Mark D'Antonio. Uh, I mean, Mike D'Antonio. <laughs> common mistake, Tony. Very common mistake. Um, 
Uh, look, I'd say I'd say it's two things. I'd say one is the Pistons. I also think, and with all due respect to um, James Harden and the aforementioned Houston Rockets, there is this feeling among basketball fans that it's a foregone conclusion that it's going to be the Cavaliers and the Warriors in the NBA Finals. I agree with that, but however, the enter- the entertainment value is still out there. Oh, I understand that, but but a lot of times, you, even, even, you, you watch sports for the magnitude. Of, of the event, almost more than the entertainment value. I know, you but, know? but they're even like bad teams, like I mentioned Philly, but like Minnesota, I thought they were going to be really good. Still, when you watch them play, Carl Anthony Towns is a fantastic right. basketball player. I agree. I agree with all that. But but I think if you know, if you kind of think you know what the end result is, I just wonder if people can can generate as much interest. And when when the Pistons were good, you know, and that that run, the you know the get the, you know the Ben Wallace Pistons and all that kind of stuff. If you think about the actual product, unless you were here, yeah, you know, tough basketball. Was it the most exciting? No. No. Now that's true. guys are running down the floor. They're shooting up three. This is pretty exciting stuff. And Jamie, the people would have said that about the Celtics Lakers in the eighties when the NBA thrived and grew. The Celtics and Lakers only played three out of four years. Right. In, the, in that decade. And people are always like they make it sound like they played seven times. They only played three times. Right. So why why isn't it true? You know what happened back I, then. You, you, I, look, I'm I'm just putting Michael a theory Jordan's out there. not there. You don't have the Pistons emerging. Right, right. I, I'm just putting a theory out there. I'm not saying it's necessarily right because right. I I know there's a lot of NBA fans and I know there's not a lot of Piston fans. I'll never forget going to a place. Um, it was like a Friday night in February, and there were no the Red Wings weren't playing. The Pistons were playing, and all the TVs in the bar were tuned to NBA games. And not a single one was tuned to the Pistons game, which I thought was amazing. It just shows you how dead the team is and continues to be in this town. So I don't doubt that there's NBA fans out there. But unless you have a rooting, like, I guess, let's just say we were going to say, okay, let's come up with an NBA topic, me and you. Let's come up with an NBA topic that people would want to talk about. What would it be? I mean, how great is it? I mean, it's, it's great. It's it's is, is Russell Westbrook a selfish player? Uh, okay. I, you know, is, is, is he honestly? My question would be: Is Russell Westbrook the best player in the NBA? Better than LeBron? Better than Harden? Better than Curry? I'm gonna say I would say no. To I that. would probably say no, but it would be an interesting debate, right? I just don't think any people would participate because, for whatever reason, they haven't really watched Westbrook this year play that much because either they don't, you know, have the lead pass, you know, the the the, the Thunder aren't on as much anymore because they don't have Durant, you know. This, that, and the other. I, I, I do think people, if you are missing the, if you aren't watching, you're missing the boat to watch some of these stars that we've well, mentioned. I'll say this, because I'm a big, I prefer college basketball to the NBA by far. I've always been that way, just because the two-hour package, the excitement, I, the, I the, the style me. of play. I, I agree with you too. But if you're a pist- or a sports fan looking for a home during the next couple months until baseball starts during the midweek when there's no playoffs on on the weekends. Look at the NBA. I mean, I'm with you because college basketball, I am not – it's not a great product right No, now. too many I do fouls. Not, yeah, I'm, I'm not thrilled with what I've seen so far. Now, Michigan State such some great potential the other night the way they played against Minnesota, and I think that's the direction that team's headed. But at the same time, it's not exactly a great, thrilling overall package. All right, clue number two for random Red Wing trivia. Clue number two. He had 45 career NHL goals. 45 career NHL goals. Once you know all four clues, call 248-539-9797, and you win Red Wing tickets. Hey, I want to-